Hey, what's up? It's Luke W coming back at you again today with a video I haven't really talked about here on my channel. I want to jump into how to be a better networker because at the end of this video, you'll really see how you can branch out and build better relationships with your friends, partners, significant others, and more specifically in terms of what I like to do, build out better business relationships. I'm currently out here just finishing up a trip in Coachella and I was able to do this because I met an amazing DJ who was performing there who gave me an exclusive VIP pass. I wouldn't have been able to do that if I wasn't an excellent networker. A couple other cool things I'm doing now is I actually got hit up today by Helium 10 to have a speaking engagement where I'll be on stage uh, with a conference with Gary Vaynerchuk here in September in Las Vegas. This is my first speaking engagement and I don't have an agent, I don't have a, pr a promoter or anything. I'm the only one man band that's putting myself out there and doing this. Without further ado, I wanna jump in and tell you a few awesome tips to be the best networker you can be to get these amazing perks in your own life. The first thing you wanna keep in mind is being an excellent communicator. Now, this covers everything from being able to read the room, judge people's body language, how are people feeling around you, and changing your persona to match how they're feeling, to make them feel more comfortable, and it even comes down to just being a better listener. When you can read the room, for instance, there was a, an instance here at Coachella where someone was not having a ride to certain places and they were like, hey, can you drive me here? Can you drive me there? And they asked me to do all these errands and obviously it's getting a little irritating and at the end of the day, they didn't even offer me any gas money or any value or incentive for me to want to do that. So that's an example of not reading the room. So I was kind of letting that person take a little advantage of me, but I was hoping they could read the room and see how it was coming off and maybe give me a little bit of value after that. So that leads me into my second point, which is just bring value to the table. And this doesn't have to mean something super significant. It can mean as something as small as if you're a good chef, if you're able to fix cars, you're a mechanic, have some sort of value you can bring to the table to make others want to be your friend. That's what it really boils down to at the end of the day. And value that I bring personally is teaching people how to make money online. Who doesn't want to do that? But I know that you have some really cool things that people could find valuable. So just make sure that you're bringing those up in conversation so people see how much they really do want to make you their friend as well. The last and probably most important thing that I can give you guys, and it's the number one thing that I embody, but it may be the hardest thing to develop because it really takes time to build this, is a overall positive energy and mindset. If you are positive, you're gonna be radiating good vibes and people are just naturally gonna be attracted to that. You don't have to be an overall attractive person, it's just the vibe that you're building is an attractive vibe and that's what's gonna magnetize people to you over time. And being positive is everything from not complaining, like I said, reading the room, not asking people to go out of their way to do all these different things for you. You know, bringing value to the table and just overall, that's what I look for in a real partner that I wanna be friends with is someone who's just gonna be a ride or die, that's not gonna be sitting around whining, bickering, complaining. And people with positive energy are in the moment. They're asking good questions. They're great communicators. They're bringing value to the table. They're doing all of these things. In this world we're living in today, there's so much negativity. So if you bring a little bit of positivity, it will make all the difference in your life. If there's any bit of inspiration I can give you guys right now, get out there and start networking. Start using some of the tips I gave you in this video and just see how much of a change it brings in your life immediately. That's it for this one. I'm tuning out. I'm going to go catch a flight back home. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.